This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we are revisiting the Bunker Hill Security Armored Cable Lock. I previously featured this lock in video number 755. There I demonstrated what it takes to pick it open. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But today, we're going to see how this lock fares against an unskilled brute force attack. Specifically, we're going to try to cut this with a pair of cable cutters, the exact type of tool these armored cables are designed to resist. Now, as the name suggests, underneath this armor is a cable, actually a really thin one that's pretty easy to cut. That's why it's armored. The problem is that the armor stops underneath this plastic piece. Let me show you that right now. I actually made a small slit here so I can take this off and show you. And if we look very carefully, we can see the armor stops right about here, and the cable is right underneath that. Having a portion of the cable unarmored is a significant security flaw for obvious reasons. So let's head down to the garage and see how easy it is to exploit this flaw. Okay, I'm out in the garage with my cable cutters. So the first thing we're going to do is see whether the cable cutters can actually go through this armored portion of the cable. Okay, I'm giving myself every advantage, putting all my body weight on it. Oh boy, that cut through a lot easier than I thought it would. It would. I don't even think that is hardened steel. Let's try that one more time. Well, I guess we don't have to, to take advantage of the little flaw. I was fully expecting this to resist the cutters. Let's do that one more time just for fun. Oh yeah, this is true garbage. Okay, we're back upstairs and all I can say is wow. The armor over this cable cut like a soup can. Clearly it is not hardened steel and the cable cutters, which should have been stopped, passed through with shockingly little effort. I couldn't even test the gap in the armor because the whole thing fell apart on me. This product is truly the worst of the worst. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.